In this video, I installed all of the Terraria Flamethrower mods. Let's hop in game and find out which one is the best. So we're hopping in here with all the flamethrower mods I could install and find. There's probably some that I missed, obviously, because not all flamethrower mods are named flamethrower mod. But the bunch I have, as we can see, there's going to be a good bit of ones we're going to look at here. Whoa. So let's hop straight into it. You know, we're going to start off hot. I literally installed a mod that was Calamity Flamethrowers. And since Calamity is supposed to be peak modded Terraria, I expect nothing but peak from these flamethrowers we're gonna do them in a random order i guess and let's get to it starting with this one we're just gonna we're just gonna shoot them we're just gonna shoot them i'm not even gonna ask questions this is, let them shoot and see what happens because this video would take forever if i read out read off every single thing and let's just start bringing out enemies so we got this one first the aurora flame which does a hundred damage and it shoots a little projectile i'm not really messing with the little uh, projectile shoots or it's just normal projectiles and the right click is an air blast but i think the air blast is added from a different mod we got this one breath of glaciers so i'm expecting nothing but icy cold flames okay the thing is this mod is kind of using like the older flames i think the vanilla terrio flamethrower has like a completely new flame to it but we got the cambrian crisper this thing does 800 damage and it says old fires 20 streams oh my god we might have to bring out a calamity boss let's bring out a cryogen yeah that ate through cryogen's armor meteor shower i expect meteors oh Okay, they're not exactly meteors, but it's like bouncy flames. Do flames bounce? Is that a thing that could happen? I'm not 100% sure. But let's bring in the queen bee, and I'm going to bounce the flames off the floor. They're legitimately like bouncing up and down. Like, it's not just a single bounce. It comes back down. Cosmic firestorm. So it says it cycles between three flames? Three different flames? I can't really tell, but I believe it. We got the desert scorcher next, which I'm assuming this is an early game one that we get. So we might as well put... Put this to the test against probably where you get it from. And that's the Desert Scourge. What's up, my boy? This flamethrower. It's not that good. I know it's an early game one. Eh, it's all right. If you could, you know, ignore the range. What else we got? We got the Static Inferno. This one looks like it might be crazy. And apparently it releases exploding burbs. Is that what it said? Whoa. Exploding and homing. Hold up. Okay, I kind of messed with this one. I like the, the little burbs that shoot out. We got the Icor Thor. Come on. Plain and simple. Inflicts Icor Flamethrower. I feel like I've seen that idea a lot from like multiple Flamethrower mods. All right. Moving on. Tuna Breath Blaster. What you got for us? I don't like this one. It also looks like a Mario pipe. Toadstool Torture. This one also sucks. Honestly, I'm not feeling these Calamity Torches so far, bro. Or Flamethrowers. Speak about torches, though. The Torch. What does this thing even do? It's like a single projectile every once in a while. So it shoots out a massive jet of brimstone flames. Needs to be used while airborne. Okay. Maybe I'm not getting up high enough. This thing sucks. <laughs> the Rook of Vengeance. What do you got here? I feel like these aren't really flamethrowers, bro. Like, they don't feel like flamethrowers. So quickly, I'm going to go over them. This one's kind of cool. But it doesn't feel like a flamethrower. J just finish them off. Just go through the remaining ones. What the hell? This is not a flamethrower. <laughs> and then we got this one, Remnant of Fate, which is also very unique. What the hell is going on? But that was Calamity Flamethrowers. You know, for Calamity to be in the peak mod, that wasn't really that peak of a flamethrower add-on. But let's change it up a little bit, all right? We're going to move in to this new mod that just came out, which is like Flamethrower Plus or something like that. Yeah, Flamethrowers Plus. And as you can see, off-rip. Oh, my God. Visually. 10 times better. I don't know why it's shooting green flames. I guess it is a meteor weapon. So honestly, that makes sense. But the flames are way better in this. Let me just go ahead and just put all these in my inventory. And let's start going crazy. Colorful celebration. Oh my god. I'm liking these flamethrowers a lot more. Nasty Betsy's breath. That's a good reforge. We got the Frostburn Igniter. Oh my god. I like how all the colors usually relate to the flame. Golden Fury. So these are just our gold and platinum flamethrowers we can get early game temples rage this should be good against the golem because that's when you should get it inferno spitter periodically shoots lasers okay so we're switching it up a little bit now but uh visually and creatively this is kind of what i'm looking for when it comes to flamethrowers whoa look at this life light we are legit shooting out light 
kind of sick. Let's keep it going. Molten Maelstrom. I like the names. Ooh, this might have the coolest looking, most detailed flame so far. We got Necrotic Blaster. This is sick. Black Flames. Okay. We got the Shadow Vaporizer. So this is Shadow Flame one. And then we got Shroom Blaster. You know, I'm a mushroom fan. Gotta be blue. Could also pass off as orange too. We got the Brothers. So this is the Twins. And it shoots the laser and then it shoots spaz is spaz right yeah spaz is green flame sick very simple idea but works we got the water thrower i don't know how this works water thrower we got venomous sprayer this homes in oh my god imagine a homing flamethrower and last but not least we have the plasma surge which periodically shoots lightning but this mod easily the best so far i know we only checked out two but this is my favorite so far and originally i was gonna make a video just on that mod but i was like you know what i might as well check out all the flamethrowers see which mods have the best one now as we go from super high quality we might dip down in quality here because these don't even got sprites so we're just gonna quickly grab a couple of these what's the name of this mod said's flamethrower said if you see this video i want you to keep working and make these flamethrowers great okay said but for now this might be our lowest quality one after that though we shoot back up in super high quality and we got this fish guns plus now i always loved the idea of terraria having fish themed weapons it's probably one of my favorite theme of weapons and as you can see it's just such a good idea bass rifle a bass as a rifle <laughs> blasting shark so is a basking shark but a blasting shark is such a simple idea this video might have to get like or this mod might have to get some video very simple idea but very great why is it so gloomy and dark god damn i don't play video games to be in the darkness but yeah i gotta figure out which one is the flamethrowers because i believe there is flamethrowers from this this one has to be a flamethrower flare fin flamethrower and it's got that beautiful new flame updated flame very simple it makes sense that a flare fin would be a flamethrower we got leviathan look at this thing look at this thing bro looks sick so i think this one has the visuals down like the sprite visual and it's got the projectile visuals the two for one it really has the best of both worlds so this easily might be my favorite one of the four we checked out so far this is also a solid weapon i wonder when you get your hands on this after that we have a sort of cooler mod in terms of adding more weapons and that is the more zenith mod let me change up what we're looking like here in terms of our background let's go to uh let's go to the nice beach and not the nasty one yeah this adds in more zenith weapons but also it adds in weapons to build into those zenith weapons for example the party master that's our zenith themed flamethrower but look at that it adds in flamethrowers all the way up to that so if you do want to do a flamethrower only playthrough and make a zenith at the end this mod has you it's even got a wooden flamethrower i don't even know how the hell that works but let's bring in the king slime and use it we got vortex flamethrower this might be a little strong to be using against the king slime whatever we got this one lumen cleanser i like the name of that night melter terra flamethrower star thrower okay changing it up a little bit let's bring in the golem why do i always bring in the same bosses <laughs> i guess there isn't really many bosses to bring in sometimes let's bring in this guy marquis moon squid and let's hit him with the star thrower and then we got the regular lumen cleanser which is pretty much just a regular flamethrower compared to it it's true version. Can I be honest with y'all? I think I hate when mods make true versions of weapons. <laughs> I see that a lot where they make the true versions of weapons and like the Terra version. I, I feel like that's kind of kind of overdone. You see it with like 90% of mods that like do weapon stuff like this. This mod's a good example. As you can see, true Knight's Edge, true Hollowed Repeater. It's a little repetitive. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like we could be more creative and come out with our own things, but you know whatever it's fine we got this nasty guy we can fight against honey spitter guess what it shoots bees who would have thought bee weapon that shoots bees it has to be done but yeah most of the flamethrowers from this mod they're, they're pretty like generic nothing like super stand out but then we get to the party master which is our zenith equivalent and instead of like 10 flamethrowers around us shooting flames it's just some super sparkly flames so it's definitely a zenith weapon in terms of looks moving on to the homeward journey flamethrowers i just did a giant mod pack playthrough recently if you guys didn't know and i beat it and i used a couple of these flamethrowers and they're really good but let us go ahead finish the video off with this one and the regular calamity flamethrowers let's bring in some bosses here who can i bring in 
Can I bring in somebody that doesn't make it nighttime? Plantera. Oh, no. You're going you're gonna to be too strong. Let's bring in Queen Bee. Dragon's Fury. This is pre-hard mode. I believe the first, like, four of these are pre-hard mode. And we're already switching it up from our regularly scheduled flamethrowers. And this one is just, like, a blast of flame. We got Spark Thrower. This one also is a regular flamethrower. Look at the flame. Oh, my God. Most realistic projectile flame yet. I don't know. I've never seen a flamethrower IRL. This one also can... Uh, compression blast i believe homeward journey is the one that adds in the compression blast and we could like launch projectiles back at people with that one we have another water theme flamethrower very interesting <laughs> i like it visually homeward journey killing it visually of course wildfire the last flamethrower from pre-hard mode i think yeah and now we move in to the hard mode ones look at this one dark breath ignores defense and enemies take more damage and it's another black flame flamethrower when i think of black flames what game do i think of it's got to be a souls game right because souls games usually have black flames in them so right away i mess with the black flames i think the other ones from the mod we saw earlier was better because it low-key looked like there was like skulls and stuff in the flame of that one we get to the degreaser which is one of my favorite ones this is one that i used during a playthrough and this thing was low-key carrying the hell out of me you get some nice ranged armor with this and you're doing work after that frost thrower come on plain and simple frost burn flame thrower this one always makes sense for a mod to have sandbar how is this gonna work a sand flamethrower okay this is kind of cool so it's using like the flame that the uh dins the, the cursed dins shoot at you but i feel like it's kind of weird though because there is purple flame in the game literally shadow flame so maybe it's like a mix of both i think visually this is my favorite looking flamethrower right here look at this it's like a skeleton laying down low-key he looked like he's ready to get his cheeks clapped i ain't gonna lie to y'all that's just visually what i'm seeing i don't know maybe i got something on my mind but this one shoots white flames i like that every flamethrower so far or majority of them changes it up spore gun i'm expecting this one yep to change it up again we got green flames little spore clouds and now i believe these are all post moon lord earth wind and fire great name i love the name of this one very simple though in terms of flamethrowers we got the ion trigger i'm very interested to see what this is is green flames is there anything special about it, it just ignores a lot of defense oh it inflicts a bunch of debuffs okay as you can see yeah it's like four different flame debuffs on it a plague has befallen the jungle i hate when that happens and our last flamethrower from the mod right here i think we already saw a tf2 reference earlier with one of the other flamethrowers but look we got the flog where my tf2 fans stand up a long time ago a good couple years ago i had a tf2 phase i think i would main scout and i would use that one shotgun where you could jump really high like you could do like an extra jump with it and i would combo that with like slapping people with a piece of meat but yeah the flog this is a post moon lord weapon i don't know i guess bring out a post moon lord boss who's a post moon lord boss i could bring out well there's only two mods that i could bring out from you know what? it's fine whatever just use this thing priestess rod aka spinning dildo of doom kind of scary enemy let's see the flog in action look at the dps bro i don't think this is a post moon lord enemy but still hard mode enemy great damage i love me the flog moving on to terraria's modded prodigal son calamity flamethrowers let's quickly get past the pre-hard mode one starting with this one which is more of like a lob shot sort of weapon than a flamethrower but i like that it's fish theme so plus one we got overloaded blaster again this is not really a flamethrower more than it is just like a regular shooting weapon shade thrower though there you go our first actual flamethrower shade thrower i do remember and i have used a while back we got spark spreader i think I think this is the last one of pre-hard mode and this one looks very interesting is this a reference to a game it's like a gungeon reference i don't know because this one looks kind of weak i do like that you do have a little backpack for each one probably the greatest detail so far but moving straight into hard mode we got the aurora blazer this one sounds like it's gonna be sick let's bring in the wall of flesh to test out on and oh this one draws a little star maybe a little pentagram if you want to be more devilish after that blight spewer come on this is probably the coolest thing about calamity some of their themes that they have like the blight kind of wish they expanded more on like blight stuff i don't know maybe they have I, I don't pay attention to calamity lore but let's bring this baby back to the jungle and let's use it against the plague bringer bring him in oh there's my boy what's up i like this one though i like the flames on this one i like how it's like a giant green circle of plague dead sun's wind this this ain't no damn flamethrower what is this <laughs> yeah some of these are listed as flamethrowers but 
<laughs> this ain't a fun start. We got Havoc's Breath, projects cone-shaped blast of brimstone. And there's like a little pause in between, which is kind of weird. I don't remember the Plague Bringer making these like dial-up noises while you fight them. We got Meow Thrower. I expect nothing but greatness from something called the Meow Thrower. I feel like we're not seeing the beautiful projectiles of these weapons. Beautiful in quotes, because honestly, this probably looked better in the dark. <laughs> But it's a Meow Mir flamethrower. Come on, can't go wrong with Meow Mir stuff. A little bit on the weak side though for a flamethrower? When, when do you get this? Meow Mir, so it's gotta be like the end of the game and yet it's barely doing damage in normal mode against a Queen Bee. Terra Flame Burster. See, even Terra's Prodigal Son also makes Terra weapons. So I guess it's just gotta be a staple. But as we can see, it has a little charge up, which I kinda like, a little bit different. And it also shoots out some other projectiles every now and then, Terra Flames it says. Blood Boiler. This is the first one that doesn't have ammo. Uses your health as ammo. Oh, that's why. <laughs> These got sick projectiles, though. I've messed with this. I like the red. It's very vibrant, very colorful. Well, not really colorful. Very bright. And I like that you hear, like, heart beating when you use it. After that, we get to the Cleansing Blaze. This is a big boy weapon. Let's bring out a big boy boss, Duke Fish Run. Why does he have so much health? 100k? Does he usually have 100k in normal mode? Maybe that's just because he's enraged out here. But uh, this one, visually, is probably one of the coolest looking ones we've seen. Like, look at that. That's a great sprite. I like how smooth the flames are when they shoot out too, but I feel like it could be a little bit more unique. Dragon's Breath, also another great sprite. This doesn't look like a flamethrower though. But let's see. Okay. I mean, it's shooting flames. And I do like that it picks up speed, okay? I like this one. This might be my favorite out of the whole video. I like that it picks up speed. It kind of turns into like a blowtorch. Sick. On to like the last four flamethrowers here. These should all be post Moon Lord. We got Elemental Eruption. This is a flamethrower I definitely remember. I don't remember how it always shot though. Like this might be different from back in the day. Let's bring in, actually, let's not bring in that. Just like, let's bring in Queen Slime. Let's go ahead and blast Queen Slime with this. And it's, it's all right. I like that it shoots very different, but I've seen cooler flamethrowers. And then we got Haley's Inferno or Holly's Inferno. I don't know who the hell you are, but I hope you got a cool flamethrower. Damn, what the? That is throwing something else. Those are not flames. You can also right click to zoom in, which is a feature I still don't think I ever use in Terraria. We got the Photo Viscerator. Oh my God. <laughs> I like this one. Even though I wouldn't consider this a flamethrower, this thing is amazing. I like the rainbow we have in the background. Wait, no, the rainbow's from the, the photo eviscerator. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, that's an interesting rainbow. Let's bring out a big boy enemy. Who's a big boy enemy I could bring out? I don't wanna bring out these guys because I think they're weird. Aren't they weird? Like, the way you have to damage them. Don't you get to, like, break their armor or something? But we literally got, like, a laser beam. Concentrated heat. Very sick. This is another like top one. I think probably Calamity's gonna take up like the top five favorite ones. Obviously, is why we saved it for last. And the last one is Pristine Fury. I expect pure greatness from this. Go ahead, show me. Go ahead, show me. Okay, not as cool as the last one, but it's not terrible in terms of damage, I guess. The photo eviscerator is way cooler though. <laughs> But yeah, that was me checking out all the flamethrower mods. Let me know in the comments which flamethrower is your favorite. And also let me know if there was some other mods that added really good flamethrowers that I forgot about. Remember back in the day, there used to be a flamethrower mod called Not Enough Flamethrowers that was really good. And I made a video about it. But that mod hasn't updated. So, you know, we just got to use what we got. But make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. I kind of like doing the videos where I install like a bunch of a certain mod just to see like what's the best one out of all of them because it definitely helps me learn like what's the best flamethrowers to install so let me know also if you want to see more videos like this shout out all the mod creators that made the mods i'll be seeing y'all next time